This is Out of This World, which is a short film written by Alexander Butter. Last Supper Diner, day, in the middle of nowhere, down a long dusty road and nestled into trees stands the Last Supper Diner. It's run down and hasn't been attended to for years. A large truck and beaten up car are parked outside. Inside the Last Supper Diner is a 1950s American style diner. Instead of highway signs and other tacky American paraphernalia, it has tacky alien paraphernalia. A trucker, 50s, is sat at the counter. Behind the counter is a waitress, 40s, whose face wears every hardship she's had, and that's been many. And in the kitchen behind is the chef, a large man, whose chef's jacket is covered in grease stains. There's something odd about the waitress and chef. Maybe it's that their eyes are just that little bit too wide or that their arms are just that bit too long. Billy, 20, is a self-proclaimed badass with a leather jacket. Darla, 20, is ginger and unsure of herself. Her clothes are long and baggy. And Stephen, 15, wears a thick jacket and a beanie hat, despite it, not being, despite it being hot outside. Darla and Billy are sat together, all loved up while Stephen sits opposite with a notebook in hand. Stephen takes out a pencil and starts scribbling in his notebook. Aesthetic four. Parking was eight, very, very easy to park. Location two, this place was not easy to find. It, it is a throwback to times gone by. Could you, could, could you two stop that? I'm losing my appetite and I, I, I need my appetite. Billy and Darla are loved up. Billy grabs the notebook. Give, 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 give that back. You gotta do this everywhere we go. Give it back. What the hell is this? Is it some stupid language? The notebook it's my, is filled with weird hieroglyphics. It's, it's, my, it's my code to stop people reading it. Just give it back to him. It's stupid. I bet it's his wanking schedule. <laughs> Chill out. Darla snatches the book out of Billy's hand and hands it to Stephen. There you go. <sighs> you need to stop being such a little bitch about everything. Billy rolls up his sleeve and shows Stephen his marijuana leaf deep tattoo. See this? Smoke it and chill. And take that, take that stupid hat off. It's roasting. Well, it'll be. Do you have eggs? We got eggs. Do you have bacon? Why don't you just look at the menu? We do. Do you have bread? Yeah. Then I will have three eggs with bacon on a separate plate and bread also on a separate plate. Great. And you? I'll take the double cheeseburger. What's the last supper special like? <laughs> Out of this world. I'll get that then. I'm going for a slash. Billy climbs out of the booth and walks off to the back, knocking the door of the toilet open. I don't like him. I know. He's a bad person. He's just misunderstood. <laughs> what mum and dad said. Yeah, well, they ain't here. They didn't want someone like... Like me? You're my brother, despite what they say. <laughs> the important thing is we're here together. Billy stands at the urinals. He pees all around and pees on the wall next to it, laughing as he does. The chef appears behind him and smashes Billy's head into the wall with such force that it explodes. Billy's headless body falls into a pool of blood, teeth and piss. Darla is looking at a map, running a pen over roads, planning the next leg of the trip. The waitress arrives with the food. The special is a steak and a collection of fries and veg. Enjoy your last supper. 
Stephen takes the greasy eggs first. With one bite, he turns to his notebook and scribbles in it. Dala looks around. Billy's been ages. His food will get cold. I'm going to check. That's the men's room. It's fine. <laughs> Dala gets up and walks towards the toilet. En route, she notices that the kitchen door is open. Dala glances in and sees the waitress's head is no longer human, but resembles something more like a mantis. The chef's head is hung in shame. I told you about killing the customers before they paid. Why didn't you use the old one for the special? Spoiled. I will get the body in the freezer before this one spoils. The chef picks up what's left of Billy's carcass, which is only a torso and arm. Dala sees Billy's tattoo and gasps, calling the attention of the waitress and chef. Dala, terrified, runs over to Stephen. In a hushed but urgent tone, talks to Stephen. We have to go. I haven't had the bread. Forget the bread. But I, I have to complete my review. Dala grabs him and drags him out of the booth. The, bre the bread, the bread. Dala turns with Stephen in her clutches. Stood behind them is the waitress and chef. The waitress's head is still Mantis. The trucker turns and sees the sight before him. Oh, shit! The waitress arm morphs to a Mantis's arm and with one swipe, the trucker's head is severed from his body. No tip. Please, let us go. Oh, yeah. The waitress and chef fully morph into two large Mantises. Dala is beyond terrified and freezes. Stephen isn't phased. He actually seems calm. He steps forward. Dala tries to grab him, but he shakes her off. Stephen removes his hat, and underneath, a third eye opens on his forehead. The waitress and chef are scared. He morphs into a giant, pulsating blob with three eyes and several long tentacles. The chef attacks Stephen, swiping his mantis arms frantically. Dala does her best to hide in one of the booths. Stephen slings out a tentacle and grabs the chef's mantis arm and in one twist snaps it. The chef screams as pain overwhelms his body. The waitress comes from the side, swiping her mantis arms. She cuts into the side of Stephen's blob form. Bits of his gelutinous body are scattered on the ground. The pieces of blob Stephen move like with a life of their own and rejoin him. On the waitress's last swipe, Stephen traps her mantis arm inside of him before flinging her across the room. The chef runs at Stephen with a high-pitched war cry and jumps, attacking the third eye. Dala can only watch in fear. The chef is making headway on Stephen's third eye. Each slash makes another cut and Stephen cries out in agony. Stephen fights through the pain and grabs the chef in his tentacles. He smashes him into the ceiling and then into the floor. Up and down, up and down. The chef's mantis body is turned to smush as every bone is broken and each internal organ turned to soup. Blood and internal organs pour from its mouth. Stephen throws a chef at the kitchen, knocking over pans, starting a grease fire. The fire spreads through the kitchen and after seconds, the fire spreads from the kitchen to the rest of the diner. Stephen morphs back into human form. He falls to his knees, hurt badly. Blood comes from his mouth and forehead. Stephen! You can stop now. We have to go. Hey, I have to make sure this is where they end. It's... It's why I came here. What? They, they, they go to planet after planet and, and spread, killing every species until it's barren. I, uh, I was sent to stop them. I'm getting you out of here. The waitress smashes away the plates and reveals a control panel under the counter. She presses the buttons and the whole room light turns lighting to red. The waitress reappears in front of them. There's no escape for you, Galaxian, and your little delicious pet. In seconds, we will be in orbit, heading for the mothership. The waitress licks its mouth. Stephen moves Dala out of the way. Stephen, no! Run, Dala. I'm not leaving you. 
Stephen morphs back into his blob form, screaming as he does. Run! Stephen's gelatinous tentacle grabs the waitress. Darla is scared. Stephen! Run! Darla heads towards the door. With one last look, she sees Stephen's tentacles being gouged by the waitress. Stephen looks at her and she's sure she sees a tear roll from his eye. Darla crashes through the door to the outside. Stephen whips his tentacles at the waitress who evades them. The diner shakes. The inside is completely ablaze. Darla watches as the smoke smil spills from underneath the diner. The diner rises out of the ground and rockets into the sky. Stephen grabs the waitress and absorbs her inside of him. She slashes inside and Stephen screams in agony. With his tentacle, he reaches into the kitchen and pulls the gas main. Gas leaks out and instantly catches fire. Exterior last supper diner, continuous. Darla sees the diner reach the lower atmosphere and explode. She's left alone with nowhere to go. She walks to Billy's beaten up car, but realizes she doesn't have the keys. She hangs her head and walks off down the long, dusty road. In front of her, a thud and squelch as something hits the ground, hard. Darla stops in her tracks. She looks down and sees a piece of Stephen's gelatinous body. She kneels down and holds out her hands. The piece of blob Stephen squelches and slides forward onto her hands. Darla stands back with a smile and carries on along the road carrying part of her brother. The end. <laughs>